Bavaria. Men. Min svenska är jätte dåligt. Jag kan inte tala så flytande svenska. Men jag kommer att vara då i Sverige. Nej, Vielleicht klappen Sie die kleinen Tische nach oben und öffnen Sie die Sonnenblenden. Sie sind verpflichtet, den Hinweisschildern, Leuchtzeichen und Anweisung der Crewfolge zu leisten. Der Guys, look at my room. I'm staying on a boat, like electric boats. so cold <laughs> but i really enjoyed this cold i don't know uh, guys i don't know i feel so happy i'm just so happy but at the same time the cold is killing me guys This is an unbelievable amount of cold. I have definitely never been somewhere colder in my life. That was like kind of exaggerated. Like literally, I can't stop walking because the second that I stop walking, my feet are freezing. I just couldn't stand walking at some point, so I just went to the subway station and took a hot chocolate and it also like became super cold in like five minutes. It's so weird, like it's so cold that you start getting hurt by that i don't know i was just really trying to text messages and i couldn't because my my finger was moving and i look like a tomato the whole time but at least inside it's super warm it's literally super warm but even that doesn't feel good because after that much cold heat also hurts me a lot like everything hurts me at this point how how people live here I can't wrap my mind around the fact that people are living here. Like, if this was my everyday life, I would cry. Like, it's so beautiful, but it's that much cold. Like, is it necessary? <laughs> no, honestly, I like the city a lot. Like, honestly, the aesthetics are super cool. I live in Milan since a month, and I never, like, just stop to take a look at the stuff in a store because of how interesting they seem, like clothes and winter stuff. And But here, I was just, like, looking at everything because they were super aesthetic. At least they were just, like, my style. I don't know, in Milan, most of the clothing I don't really like because they look so basic. But here, everything is super aesthetic. Like, I would wear them all. But it's so cold. Look. Look at me. Look at me. I don't even need to use a blush at this point. I'm probably gonna take some Je vais prendre des médicaments.
<laughs> Hello from my second day in Stockholm. I think it's raining, but I got an umbrella. Oh, today the weather is more bearable, I think. Uh, maybe it's because uh, it's still at night, yeah. Oh, actually it's already noon, but I haven't had breakfast. Because I woke up, I edited videos, uh, then, uh, you know. Oh, let's go! Guys, something I realized here is that people are likely to let you speak Swedish if you want to. Because every time when I go somewhere and talk to someone, I try to speak Swedish, but my Swedish is kind of poor. But still, they are patiently waiting for me to speak. And when I don't understand something, they just repeat it uh, in a slower way or with other words. Wow, this thing is so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, and they just show me, for example, yesterday, um, a guy showed me the map and explained everything like super slowly and they're literally making efforts for me to speak Swedish. And they speak perfect English, I know that, and I can communicate in English, but I don't because I'm here to practice the language. And they also realize that and they respect that. I like it. In Italy, when you can't remember a word, even if you like speak so advanced, super perfect Italian, they just, okay, I can speak English for you, but at the end, their English is very poor. I really appreciate sweets. I'm freezing. I bought a hand cream because I was dying <laughs> and I will also buy gloves but I haven't seen somewhere until now I just came back to hotel 
uh, a boat. <laughs> I just came back to the boat because I had to dry my stuff, charge my phone and have some rest and after like two hours I'm going back again. Tonight is my last night as an 18 year old girl. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm turning 19. I will go out, I will eat something and I will just walk around and I'll be freezing. But it's so exciting and I feel so happy like like literally I feel so happy I don't know how to describe it but I want to cry I always want to cry but it's just so precious I don't know mm. I'm 19 <gasps> hey Today is my last full day in Stockholm. I'm so sad. <laughs> I don't know. It's sad. Today's plans are... I have no idea. I literally just go around and if I see something that seems interesting enough to do, I do it. I just walk around. It's cool. Well. Um, and also I have to celebrate my birthday on my own. This is the first time in my life that I'm alone at my birthday, and it sucks. Actually, it doesn't even feel like my birthday, I don't know. I'm sad. Let's hope that today will be great. It's just 4 p.m. <laughs> but already dark. I think I will walk around a little bit. Stockholm actually I need to just go out 
because I have a train and I need to check out. I just packed everything and I'm going. Bye. I'm actually so sad to leave this video, but when I'm coming to Stockholm again, I'm staying here. Like literally, I never said this for any other hotel. I'm staying here. <laughs> like look at this, it couldn't be any better. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I'm leaving so happy, literally.